Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Jason, Charlie Echo 3, stroke in 5 and you. I'm back here at the park today, playing with another antenna. I can't wait to show you guys what I'm working with. Okay, so I am in Charlie Lima 0266 in Las Condes, just outside of Santiago, Chile. Playing uh, radio today, it's in the upper 50s, it's a beautiful day. And I've got a four element parasitic array for 15 meters that I uh, have drawn up. Okay, so this is kind of a work in progress still. Uh, I did a three element 20 meter parasitic array that we had good computer, uh, computer modeling software, etc. for this. For this one though, uh, I use it, believe it or not, I use ChatGPT. <laughs> and so I'll tell you what ChatGPT says. Uh, the band, uh, band's just all over the place today, but I've been having fun uh, playing around. I'll walk you through uh, kind of the basics of it though. Okay, so here I am a little bit uh, closer up to it. Uh, this thing right now has two directors. This is the second director I've got set up. Uh, I've got the radials here that are resonant uh, 180 degrees apart. I've got the first director right there. Same thing with radials uh, 180 degrees apart. These are 0.3 wavelengths apart. That's what ChatGPT said for um, you know maximizing forward gain. I don't care anything about uh, front to back ratio or anything like that. I'm in Chile. There's nothing south of me. There's uh, it doesn't does me no good. Here's the driven element right here, and then the uh, director one. So that's director two. This is director one, driven element. Again, uh, 0.3 of a wavelength apart, and then. Here is the uh, driven element right here. I've got this, just a SS17 whip by Chameleon, uh, running into a uh, Palomar Engineering line isolator from here, running straight into the rig. And then uh, over here behind me is uh, the reflector. Uh, this is, uh, I think, a quarter of a wavelength. It's not 0.3, it's, it's a little bit shorter. And uh, again, radio is 180 degrees apart. And so um, I'm still working out the SWR, the chat GPTs, you know, their dimensions produced uh, kind of a high SWR. So I went out here and shortened some of this stuff up. Just uh, just trying, I've got it down to about 1.2, 1 1.3 uh, 1 1 to one. I've got it set up facing the US right now. Um, this, is, uh, this is toward the US. This is the word Japan, and then about, uh, yeah, that's the word Europe over there. You can't really see it because there's a bush in the way. Uh, but over this direction is uh, Europe. I've been playing, the band is not, uh, is not super good. It's really, really spotty, but uh, it's been fun out here playing with it. All of this is portable. Uh, as I mentioned, I brought all this up. All this stuff fits in this bag. This bag right here is uh, kind of my radio bag. This um, bag here, about a three feet long, is the antenna bag. And here is my uh, my portable setup that I have for POTA. I just hike all this stuff in here, set it up, and I'm on the air. Z. It's touching S9. On the peaks. Kilo zero, Oscar Echo. Uh, good evening, commute five and five. 55 with me, this is Kilo, over. 
Okay, so um, that was a lot of fun. I, I really enjoyed that. Um, as I mentioned, uh, this antenna is a little bit of a work in progress. I did a video a few weeks ago on a three element parasitic array for 20 meters that had been computer modeled. Um, I'll go ahead and put the link down below uh, for that if you want to watch it. Um, so if you do know how to do computer modeling, I, I feel like that'd be really helpful uh, for this particular antenna. The antenna itself, I felt like did, uh, I felt like it seemed to hear better than it got out until the band opened really well. Um, if that makes any sense, uh, about 2200 Zulu, the band opened really nicely to North America and the signal reports, uh, were about the same, uh, each way. But before that, uh, I felt like I heard a little bit better than I was uh, being received. Um, I do think some optimization would help this antenna, you know, as far as like the spacing between the elements, etc. But, um, really the hardest part of it. Honestly, is, is just taking the time to get the measurements between the elements correct and uh, just resisting the urge to just rush through it and get on the air. You know, once you get out there, you want to just get on the air as quick as you can and just resisting that urge. It takes a little time and just to just be methodical with the antenna. So overall, man, what I had a blast. I'm going to do it again and I hope to see you guys in the band soon. 73.